Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about a real use case of voice AI. I assume you have called a customer service and had to wait a long time in the queue and it becomes really frustrating. Now, if you have an option where you can talk to an AI who speaks like human, take all your requirements and then get the job done. And that will make your life super easy. In this video, I'm taking a hotel concierge scenario where you have already booked the hotel room, but now you want some add on, for example, a special request. It can be booking a birthday cake or anniversary cake or spa booking, or it can be lunch or dinner. Now you can send an email for that, but you want to talk to someone so that they can note down your request, provide you the details and then get back with the confirmation. So this is the flow of the project today. So this is a customer who will be calling and I'll be that customer. And so now you can get a number from ACS, which is Azure communication service or Twilio, or there are multiple third party options, but I'm using Twilio here because you get a free trial for number us number. It is, and I have international calling enabled from Australia. So it works for me. Then in the Azure AI foundry, you deploy open AI real time GPT 40 voice model which does the voice to voice interaction in a human like way. In this scenario, the AI will ask the booking ID, get the special request and send an email to the customer service of hotel so that they can check and provide a confirmation email back to you. Now for that email option, I'm using outlook 365 where I'll be using graph APIs. Though there are multiple options, you can use Gmail also or any other provider. For this video, I've kept it simple, but with the real time GPT-40 voice, you can even attach RAG or it's knowledge base so that if customer asks the price or any other details about those special requests, it can provide those information too. So to understand it better, I'll show a step-by-step -step demo of this project in the lab. I'm logged into Azure portal now and let's look for Azure AI Foundry. and create a new resource. So I'll create a new resource group, RG YouTube. And then hub 01001 East US2 because the real time API is only available in East US2 on Sweden Central. So I'm using East US2. Let's name this project as Calling 01. Next, all network, system assigned manager identity, and rest everything is default and create. And the deployment has started, and this will deploy the AI hub as well as AI project. So I'll pause the video and we'll be back once this is done. The deployment is complete now, and you can see there is project as well as hub deployed. So let's click on the hub, open the Azure AI foundry portal. So I'll go to the portal now. And I'm in the calling project. And automatically Azure open AI service is connected or integrated with Azure AI project as well as hub. So now let's go to the models and deploy a real time model. So for this scenario, we'll be using mini real time because it's one tenth of the cost of the real time model. And we are not using any special features. It's just, just the voice to voice conversation. So real time. So mini real time audio generation model it is. Confirm. I think it's not available in US East 2 for now. So I'll deploy in Sweden Central then. So it's validating for now and then soon the model will be deployed. And once the model is deployed, we'll have the URI as well as the API key, which we'll use into our code itself. So mini real time model is deployed now, as you can see now the endpoint as well as the key is available. And now I'm going to create an app registration 
so that using an Outlook 365 email ID, I can send email through my code. So let's go to enter ID. Let's go to app registrations, create a new registration, test, outlook, and the single tenant, and register. Now I need to provide the API permissions. So it's user read for now, add a permission, Microsoft Graph, I'll provide the application permissions. So mail, let's go to mail, read, write and send mail, add permissions, add permission again, and this time user permissions. user read all that's all good and now you have to provide the admin consent from the custom domain so i am the user with the required privileges and once this is done it's all granted so now app registration is ready next step is because now we need to provide the secrets so let's create a new secret and i'll use it for 90 days only add and there is a value and the secret id so let's copy this i'll open notepad so i have saved the value here and we are almost ready so now i'm going to open the vs code and show you the code so this is the vs code i have the code ready so these are the different imports we are doing web sockets fast api .NET environment so that we can get the environment variable from .env file requests. So now from the environment file .env file, we are pulling the tenant ID, client secret, client ID, client secret. From where we are sending the email to whom we are sending the email, and the open API endpoint and the key. So all these values, all these values will be fetched from .env file. Then it's an AI assistant which is acting as a hotel customer service agent and it has to get the booking ID as well as the special request. And it has to provide that special request in the form of a JSON so that it can be passed into the email. Using the MSAL, we are getting the graph access token. So first we are getting the token and then we are sending the email with all the details. And then we have an API with the incoming call, which will be connected to your Twilio, which I'll show you. And then in the web sockets, you will be sending and receiving. So receive from Twilio and send to Twilio. So all these details are added there, where you'll get the AI and the user conversation, what's happening. And I'll upload this code into GitHub, and you can find the link of the GitHub in the description of this video itself. And using the server VAD, we are adding the interruption. So that means if the AI is talking, if I'll talk in between, it will be interrupted and then it can handle the interruptions and it will start the conversation from that point. And this is the whole code. Now let's provide the .env file. Start with the endpoint. So this is the endpoint. However, instead of HTTPS, I'll use the web secure socket WSS and API key and the tenant ID client ID which is application ID and the client secret, which we have just saved. And I'll delete all these resources before I upload this video. So not a security risk. So application is ready. There is one package and grok. And why this package is because it provides a public endpoint 
for a specific port because here we are using port 5050. So using the ngrok, we'll get a public endpoint which runs on localhost 5050 port. So for my lab, this is easy to show using the ngrok because now I don't have to deploy it in app services where there will be a public URL. I can get the same using the ngrok. And there is one more step which is left. So let me log into Twilio. So I'm logged into Twilio. So what you have to do is when you go to Twilio home, so you have to create your account. Once you create your account, you get around 15 US dollars. And from there, you can buy a new number. First, you have to validate your phone number and then you can buy a new number. And in the account dashboard, I have verified my number and I have an active number. You can buy a new number from here. There are a lot of numbers available, though these are US numbers. Because you can buy the number from here. It's only $1 and you already have in the trial account around $15. So go to your active number. Click here in the configure. And in the webhook, you have to provide the URL of your application. So now let's run the code first. And to run a Python code, you need to open a terminal and let's create a virtual environment so that all the dependencies can be installed there so this will create a virtual environment and once this is created i'll activate it so let me activate it now venv scripts activate so virtual environment is activated now now let's run the python code my bad i have created a new virtual environment but i haven't installed the required dependencies pip install requirements.txt if i look here these are all the packages that needs to be installed so i'll just install them it's installing all the packages and their required dependencies and once this is done we should be good to run the code and perfect all the packages are installed now let's run the code again and perfect code is running and let's check if it's running or not localhost 5050 and application is running this is just a normal message and if i'll try incoming call and perfect please wait while we connect you to hotel service however this is the response which will be through AI. Now we want a public endpoint because we need to connect Twilio using a webhook. So for a public endpoint, we can deploy this code into the app service or I'll use ngrok here. So let's open another terminal and ngrok 5050. Sorry, uh, it's an exe file it's running on 5050 and perfect so this is the public endpoint and you if you'll check this and it's perfect application is running so that means now we have this public endpoint let's update it here with the incoming call i am ready to make a call on the twilio number now You have a trial account. You can remove this message at any time. Please wait while we connect you to our hotel service. You are now connected. Wait for the agent. Hello, thank you for calling Sunshine Hotel's special request department. Could you please provide your booking ID? Hello, my booking ID is 12345. Thank you. What special request would you like to make for your stay? For example, a cake for a celebration, a spa booking. I want to book a birthday planning. cake for my daughter. Booking ID is 12345. Special request, birthday cake for daughter. That's all. Thank you so much. You're welcome. If you need any more assistance, please feel free to ask. 
have a great day you too bye and perfect the call is successful and i will quickly show you the new email which i have received and here you go new special request for booking id 12345 and the booking id is 12345 special request birthday cake for daughter so that means now using the azure open ai voice to voice model the ai can talk like a human as well as and can send emails using the outlook 365 so in short now your voice to voice api can be connected to a phone number where it can be used as a customer service number and can also be integrated to outlook or the calendar where you can check the availability and then make the booking as well as using the apis it can connect to any third party application and make some changes based on your application requirement now this shows how voice ai can be used as a customer service in the different domains itself so that's all i wanted to show in this video i hope you liked it please like and subscribe thank you so much